Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Stained Glass DIY. We've been working on this leaded stained glass panel for our commission for quite some time now. In the previous videos in this series, you saw how it all got started. If you'd like to go back, links to all the videos will be down below. So far, we got through the glass cutting and most of the leading. Now let's bake that centerpiece, put it all back, solder everything together, and let's get this thing delivered. All right, we'll let that set and set for 35 minutes, okay? Fingers crossed. So hot. Let's bring it back to the studio. We can analyze it a little bit better. I mean, it looks pretty much the way that it looked before I baked it, except now that's not gonna come off. It looks pretty good. I don't think there's anything weird about it. It's not super glossy. It doesn't look like anything really changed. So I could say that if you like the way that it looks on the glass after the paint has dried, pretty much that's what you're going to get after baking it. It is now dishwasher safe. You can wash it easily and not have to worry about it coming off. You know, that looks, looks dried enough. So I'll wait for the oven to cool down a bit and then I'll put this in. Good. Put that right there. Yeah. Actually, I think that's good. I think that looks good. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's add that in and try to finish this thing. The rest of the day was spent taking everything apart to put in that centerpiece and putting it all back together. The zinc came for all the borders were also cut and trimmed to the correct lengths. The next day, the majority of the time was spent cutting new glass to fit the upper section of the panel. I didn't realize how much glass slips into the zinc came. Therefore, all the top pieces were too small and had to be redone. But thankfully, by late afternoon, everything was finally together. No way. No way we're done. Okay, you guys check this out. Holy sh This is finally together. I forgot about the centerpiece there and pretty much had to take things apart, do the paint, and then put it back together. The glass pieces, I cut too small. I ended up having to cut a few more of those, so basically starting over. The yellows on top, the orange, the red, these two right here, all those had to be done, redone, and then the lead sizing also had to follow that. Seriously, I'm so glad that it worked out. I can't wait to just hold this in one piece. We'll clean up and we're finally at the soldering step. The main thing we're doing here is to melt our solder onto the joints of the lead came where they merge, bonding all the lead came so they become one entire solid unit. We'll also solder the zinc came borders together to complete the framing of the panel. Of course we need flux to dab at the joints before adding solder and I'm using liquid flux I had on hand but gel flux will also work perfectly for this. I'll be sure to link everything we use today in the description box below if you'd like to learn more. All right, you guys ready for this flip? I got everything soldered, I think, on this top surface. Man, this is the first time that we're gonna lift it up from all these pieces and uh, it should be held on together in one solid unit. This is like days and days of hard work finally coming together. I'm just gonna try to lift it up for you. It's only soldered on one side too, so you gotta be careful with it. <laughs> and it's all together. Turn it right side up first before I show you guys the final thing. I apologize, the light is crappy. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. Okay, all right, let's put it down. Well, officially the biggest piece I've ever done. Let's go ahead and finish up the rest of it. We're just gonna crank away here. It's like 12.30. But we need to finish this. All right, guys, so let's get back to it. Finish this up, get the soldering done. We'll do the same thing to this other side, soldering all the joints together, just like before. After the soldering was complete, I cleaned the entire panel with quick clean to easily get rid of the flux residue and wiping with paper towels instead of the alternative of giving it a bath with soap and water. I also tried scrubbing the zinc borders with fine steel wool to even out the shine, but I'm not really sure if that did anything or not.
this is it. How's that look? It's a good size. Feels pretty heavy. Man, I'm so glad we're here. We'll get back in and finish up the soldering of the jump rings and do some final finish on it. The jump rings I'm using are a half inch in diameter. My stained glass shop said they'd be perfect for what I'm doing here and would carry the weight just fine. The chain I got is called a jack chain and you can find those at most hardware stores or I'll put up a link for you. I was told to place the jump rings on the back of the panel and to solder it well between the vertical and the horizontal beams. It must be on the vertical beams to carry the load of the entire panel. Otherwise, if it was only soldered to the top horizontal beam, it would eventually pull the panel apart. Which is why we also made the horizontal beams sit inside the vertical beams for this purpose. I was a little concerned about the jump rings coming apart when hung, so I made sure to add plenty of solder all around to secure it as best as I could. After some inspections, I found spots around my solder joints from the soldering. To get rid of that problem, I used fine steel wool to go over all the spots and it did the trick. And then a quick vacuum job to clean up the mess. For the final finished look of the panel, I wanted the solder lines to be a little bit darker, but not dark like black patina. So I went with putty to cover just the solder lines to help get those lines a little bit darker. I skipped filling in the gaps and sealing the panel completely since that would have taken up a lot more time and this project would be hung indoors and won't need waterproofing. Finally, I finished up with whiting powder to clean up any excess flux, oil, putty, and other residue that may still be on the glass. And of course, we need to add some chains so we can hang this and let's buff it out once more and call this thing done. Tomorrow, we go to Sacramento and we're gonna drop this off at the brewery. That looks so good. That looks so good. How is it? That looks awesome, dude. That looks really awesome. Like it? Yeah. Well, my friend was really happy about it, and it turns out that this happens to be a three-part series of this Belgian beer that they're launching. So they want to commission me for two more in the same style and to complete the series. If you'd like to check out this panel, it's gonna be on display at Track 7's Tap Room and Kitchen called The Other Side in Sacramento, California. And if you go, please tag me or comment below and let me know that you were there to see it in person. I want to thank Track 7 for letting me work on this awesome project. And of course, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this journey from beginning to end to create this incredible panel and it's now finally finished. So if you guys like this project, give me a thumbs up and let me know or comment below and let me know what you thought about it. I'd love to do some more leaded stained glass projects. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. And with that, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Looks good. Alright, cool.